Morning it all, messy air day. Um, day three pilgrimage. We're just at the monastery, Monast monastery de Santa Maria Valverero, which is about two hours or so uh, south of Santander. It's a great spot, middle of nowhere, middle of the mountains. It's an actual working abbey that's got um, hotel rooms here. Um, just, a, it just seems to be a great place. I just found, I actually just found it googling it, and um, seemed to fit the pilgrimage theme. So. Just show you there. And then there's the archway through to the abbey that you ride through the archway, and that takes us back down the mountain. So, quite a good little place if you're looking for somewhere remote, <coughs> remote and off grid, and, and maybe somewhere as a base to explore. Um, so, yeah, and not too, not too expensive. But this morning, I just want to do a video on packing badly because no matter how many times I travel, I still pack badly. Uh, and I know people really uh, stress about what to pack, take or what not to take. Uh, and I guess it's just a reassurance that no matter how many times you do it, you'll still not get it absolutely right and you'll still overpack. I mean, I've ended up with too much warm clothing. I've got uh, a gilet and a jumper and then the liner in my jacket. So I'm, and the temperatures are, are, are way unnecessary for that. So I, I've got way too much stuff there. I brought the wrong tools. I've got, you know, a big tool box there just because I, I guess I'm coming with people on, on other bikes. So I wanted to spread a tool. So I've packed really inconsiderately. There's got a big tool chest, tire levers, and then on, on this side, I don't even know what I've got in there. And then a big giant tank bag with lots of unnecessary uh, stuff on here. Too much of one thing, not enough of another. Maps, and I've even brought a book to read, which I'd never read a book, let alone when I'm on a trip. So the art of packing badly um, is still rampant in my traveling lifestyle. So it's just a, a quick little video just to say, um, don't stress it, try and think what, where are you going? What kind of temperatures are you dealing with? Do as best you can with your clothing. With In terms of your tools, do as well as you can in thinking what tools you might need. Obviously, this essential such as tyre repair kits or plug kits. I mean, we've had a puncture already day one. So, um, Graham had got a really cool little uh, pump repair kit. He got that straight out of his ta tank bag. So, I think it's about having those things that you might need to hand in an emergency. So, they're easy to find. Waterproof, for example, are always good to have in a easy to reach place in case there is a downpour and you can you can pull over chuck it straight on without having to dig into your panniers so all, all those essential straight to hand first aid kit i've got that handy just in case if anybody gets, if anybody gets a splinter or cuts their toe or anything like that um but other than that the reality is you're always going to go without stuff and you're always going to take stuff that you don't need on a short trip there's not much really you could do with it other than manage on a longer trip if you're going for a bit you know two weeks or whatever um if you're taking stuff if you took stuff that you're not using you can post it home i mean that's what i've always done on on bigger trips or equally buy stuff there's shops everywhere we're in spain people wear clothes people wear waterproofs people use tools on motorbikes so if, the, if you if you set off and you there's things that you've not got just buy it find places when we've done a, when i've done america trips i mean the, the ease of buying stuff in kmart walmart means that you could you could set off with an empty pannier set and, and fill it as you went along with the stuff you actually realized you needed uh, what i would say is try and leave space in the a surplus space in your luggage and because no, the problem is no matter what luggage you take you'll always fill it you'll always fill it to the brim with things that you think that you need because your luggage is empty therefore you must be missing something but the trick is really to leave some space uh, a to make it easier to pack and b for those items that you realize that you needed that you buy on route so yeah, um, so that's it. Quick little video. We're going to have breakfast at 8.30 and then we're going to ride down that mountain. It's a shame I can't really see you. The abbey's just on the other side or, or the monastery. Uh, just on the other side of that, that wall. But uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic spot. Uh, somebody remind me and I'll, I'll put the link to, the, to, this, to this place on, on the... Um, on the on the description so my brain's not working uh, and and yeah for anybody coming into santander who wanted somewhere nice to stay middle of the mountains middle of nowhere some great roads around here actually you know it's the kind of roads it's interesting there's always these iconic roads you must ride the picos you must ride the alps you must you must ride the cat and fiddle for example but there's roads down here that are better than anything you know such quiet twisty brilliantly surfaced roads that nobody knows about nobody talks about but they just at the bottom of this road and we're going to take some heading west today to uh, a place called Jaca, J-A-C-A, -A, uh, which is on route to Andorra and then we pick up the N260 
uh, to the Pyrenees. So that's it. Day three pilgrimage. Cheers.